Welcome to the lesson on logical equivalence and logical implication. This is part of the lecture series of mathematics for IT, ITE1812. Let's first look at the learning outcomes. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify logically equivalent propositions and describe logical implications and use truth tables to determine logically equivalent propositions. So about propositions, we have discussed in a previous lesson. So let's first look at uh, what logical equivalence means. Let's take a scenario uh, where P and Q are statements uh, made up from propositions. So these propositions can be uh, P, Q, R, and many others as well, can be a combination of that. So in this situation, if the truth value of P is the same as the truth value of Q, for every combination of the truth values of all the propositions, as mentioned before, they can be P, Q, R, and so on. So in this situation, we say that P and Q are logically equivalent. So you see the sign for the logical equivalence uh, where P and Q are statements, they are logically equivalent. In other words, P and Q are said to be logically equivalent if the final columns of their truth tables are the same. We will take a look at an example. So here we have uh, two propositions, uh, P and Q. Uh, so we have to show that the negation of P implies Q is logically equivalent to P conjunction negation of Q. Okay, so let's look at the solution for this example. Uh, we start by constructing the truth tables where we need to examine negation of P implies Q and P conjunction negation of Q. So we take the values, uh, the combinations of P and Q for the truth values. So let's first look at uh, the truth values for negation of P implies Q. So what you do is you already know uh, what are the truth values for P implies Q, and then you take the opposite values to get the negation. So as you can see in the third column of this table, you have the truth values for negation of P implies Q. Next, in the fourth column of the table, you have the truth values for P conjunction negation of Q. And then what we do is we compare these two columns. So you will see that for all the rows, for each of the rows, the truth values will be the same. So this tells us that the two statements, P implies, negation of P implies Q and P conjunction negation of Q are logically equivalent. So how did we arrive at this conclusion? By comparing the truth tables. So basically if all the values in the truth table are same for two statements, we can conclude that those two statements are logically equivalent. And there's another special remark about the biconditional statement P if and only if Q, if that is a tautology. So you can remember from the previous lesson, a tautology where the truth value is always true. That is when we call it a tautology. So what happens is P if and only if Q is a tautology, then it is called as equivalence. And it is denoted by the two-headed arrow notification. And it is read as P is 
equivalent to Q, where P and Q are two state modes. Another example to understand the logical equivalence. So here we are given with the two statements. So we are required to verify the following propositions A and B are logically equivalent. Statement A is if I go to the university, if I study a lot, I'll be a graduate. Statement B is if I go to the university and I study a lot, then I'll be a graduate. So you, can, you, can, you should note the subtle differences here from the statement. So let's, how, let's see how we can uh, approach this solution. What we do is we can define three propositions out of this. So we note, I go to the university as P, I study a lot as Q, and I'll be a graduate as R. So we have three separate propositions. And you will notice that the above two statements, A and B, are a combination of these three propositions. So what are these uh, combinations? So we are required to show that the statement A, which re refers to P implies, Q implies R, and then statement B is P conjunction Q implies R. Notice the differences where statement A has the word then, which means that it has a implication and statement B has the and word where it means a conjunction operation. So those are the two differences between the statements. So in notification, about two statements can be stated as P implies, Q implies R, that is statement A, and statement B is P conjunction Q implies R. So then what we do? we have to go to the truth table. So we have three separate propositions, P, Q, and R. So we consider all the combinations of the truth values. So first we get uh, Q implies R. And in the fourth column, we have P implies Q implies R. And then we look, take a look at P conjunction Q. And finally, P conjunction Q implies R. Right, so after we have all those truth values in separate columns, then we try to compare. So we try to compare the columns for P implies, Q implies R, and P conjunction Q implies R. So when we compare that, we note the truth values are the same for each row in those two columns. Therefore, we can conclude that P implies Q implies R and P conjunction Q implies R are logically equivalent. How do we say that? Because we get the same truth values for those statements. So, which means eventually, the statements A and B are logically equivalent. And then we move on to another concept, which is logical implication. Previously, we looked at the logical equivalence, now logical implication. So we take a similar scenario where we have two statements, P and Q, it can be compound or simple. And if the conditional statement P implies Q is a tautology, it is called an implication. And it is denoted by this arrowhead notification P implies Q. Once again, we go to an example. 
um, we are required to show that P conjunction Q implies Q conjunction P. So how do we do that? We need to check whether this statement generates a tautology. In other words, whether the statement has truth value T for all the rows. So how do we do this? We go for all the combinations, all the possible combinations of truth values for P and Q. First, we take P conjunction Q, which is TFFF in the third column. And then Q conjunction P, which is TFFF once again. And then we try to get P conjunction Q implies Q conjunction P in the fifth column. In which case, we notice that all the truth values are denoted, denoted as or derived as T all the time that statement is true. In other words, it's a tautology. So according to the above truth table, only truth value T occurs in the last column. Therefore, P conjunction Q implies Q conjunction P is a tautology. That brings us to the end of this lesson on logical equivalence and logical implication. In the next lesson, we will look at predicates and quantifiers. Thank you.